hello my name is Lincoln and welcome to my channel and I need to talk to you about my writing because big things are changing and I don't like it <laughs> so I've been keeping y'all updated with my writing and how I've been moving along with this book that I'm creating and then I just stopped. I just stopped letting you know because I haven't written in three months. Almost three months. And that's a big deal. So I kind of wanted to talk about that because I want to get back into writing, but to do so, I'm going to need to make some changes. But the story that I've been writing and that I've been talking about is a big project. And I, last time I was writing it, I was working on the second draft where I was changing big things. I was in the middle of the first act in that second draft when I realized I needed to change even more big things. And that's a lot. <laughs> it's just the project is growing bigger and bigger and it freaks me out a little bit. So the evolution of this book that I've talked about is in the beginning it was supposed to be a children's book about my dog and he thinking he's a knight and protecting me from squirrels because he barks at squirrels all the time and stuff like that and then it moved into no it's this animalistic fantasy like warriors and red wall and stuff like that like and Mowgli, my dog, is the main character. And then you have all my other pets as characters too. And I was kind of taking reference from like Zootopia and all these other books and just making this animalistic fantasy. And then that wasn't working. <laughs> and so then I was like, okay, they're not animals, but they have soul creatures, which the soul creatures are animals that give them their power. Or their soul creatures take the form of animals and give them their power. So Mowgli is now a human boy and he has a dog soul creature and they work together. And then now there's magic in the world and all this other stuff and so I started working on that and then I realized this book that I'm writing I'm trying to make it one book but it's just way too big to be one book it needs to be three books and so I just got burnt out from not being able to finish a draft before I realized that big changes needed to be made. So I've probably spent more time outlining and planning, which is the stuff that I know I need to do, but I hate. I've done more of that than actually writing because so many things keep changing and both of my drafts of that story are technically unfinished because the first draft by the time I got to the very end with the big battle, I realized, oh, my bad guy had no personality and he was just bad to be bad, which I hate those bad guys. So I just kind of glossed over the end. And and then in the, the second draft, I didn't even get past act one before I realized this would actually be better as three books instead of one. So yeah i just i need to work on a project that i can just start and finish and just feel accomplished instead of just like starting this book and realizing big things need to change and then feeling like i've wasted all this time because none of it's usable and i know that's not true because all these things that i'm changing like i've never written a book before so I'm growing and by the time this book is done, I know it's gonna be the best it can be for my abilities because it keeps evolving and changing and becoming something better. And I'm so excited for this book, but I know for my sanity, I need to do something to where I can start it and finish it and it not be five years. 
I haven't been writing this other book for five years, but you know what I mean. I started thinking about this because I've been thinking about the children's book more and more lately. Because my book is now so drastically different from what it was at the beginning, I kind of still want to make that children's book and have just these two stories. And I feel like doing a children's book will not, not be easier, but it will be a shorter project. I don't have to publish this children's book, but I can just create this story that I have in my head that I keep thinking about and I can have a start and an end and then I can feel accomplished and more prepared to write this other book that I have. So I was going to do NaNoWriMo being the whole month of November do this whole children's book but I feel like that's going to be a lot of effort and especially with me wanting to do all these other things it's not going to be possible. I don't want to stress myself out with this. So I'm going to go ahead and start it now and I'm putting this video out there to kind of one let you know what's going on if you actually care about my writing process and two to hold me accountable. So like hey I have this video up and I said I was gonna be starting this project with this children's book about my dog and so I kind of need to do that and I want to update you and all this stuff so this will hold me accountable and get me back into writing without me having to write three books <laughs> because the project just keeps getting bigger and I just want a tiny project just a little one. I don't want a big one. So yeah, I hope this all makes sense. Um, I'm done beating myself up about my writing process and I'm done forcing myself to stick to plans whenever things need to evolve and change and grow. So yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're putting that story, that fantasy novel aside, and we're working on this little children's book. So yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait to get started and I'll definitely be bringing you along. So if you want to see that, definitely stick around and subscribe because yeah. Also, let me know if you're excited for it because then, and then I'll feel even more accountable because I don't want to let you down. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, if a lot of your writing plans have changed recently, let me know so I know I'm not alone. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a great morning or evening whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I get back into writing, but it's just, not worked out and it's not like I every time I speak you start digging